Mark Steinis. And I'm Nancy O'Dell. And this is Entertainment Tonight. The Academy Awards took place last weekend, and while this marks the end of awards season, it also signals the beginning of mediocre movie season. That's right, Nancy. It's that magical time of year when the studios dump the projects they're just not all that jazzed about. And this year, the competition is fierce for which movie will do the most okay at the box office. And here's a sneak peek at some of the exciting Exciting movies coming to theaters this weekend. Julia Roberts stars opposite Hugh Jackman in the romantic comedy Unlucky in Love, a movie which insiders tell us will be fine to watch on Netflix streaming. And for you sci-fi fans out there, you'll be vaguely sated until summer by Jude Law in Primary, a movie that takes place in the future, but not too far in the future. Well, Owen Wilson's latest dramedy, Starting Over, made its in-flight movie premiere. We caught up with some fans at Chicago's O'Hare Airport. I think I fell asleep for like 15 minutes in the middle, but I, I basically followed the plot. I didn't even watch, I just picked Food Ninja. I sure can wait to see that. But if late in life coming of age stories aren't your thing, then maybe you'll be interested in some of the most pretty good action flicks that mediocre movie season has to offer. Ryan Reynolds stars in the bank heist thriller No Turning Back, while Bradley Cooper stars in the bank heist thriller Get Away. And Mark Ruffalo stars in the bank heist thriller The Steel. In an interview, we sat down with Ruffalo to ask him about the project. Uh, yeah, I think people are really gonna love The Avengers, yeah. And what about the steel? Oh yeah, I completely forgot I was in that. And now it's time to take a look at our EntertainmentTonight.com poll. We asked you, which movie are you the most excited to just sort of end up seeing? A whopping 25% of you said never giving up, while a whopping 25% of you said making it counts, but a whopping 25% of you said living your life, and finally, a whopping 25% of you said you were most excited about that Selena Gomez movie. Coming up next, we've got a sneak peek at the trailer for Gerard Butler's annual turn at bat in a film that made Roger Ebert say, meh. 